In this video on similar shapes and similarity, we're going to learn about areas of similar shapes. More specifically, given two similar shapes, we're going to learn how to calculate the area of one shape using the area of the other. And in this first example, the shape with the unknown area is an enlargement of its similar shape. And in the second example, the shape with an unknown area is a reduction of its similar shape. And as we'll see, there's a bit of a catch when it comes to reductions, so do make sure to watch both of these examples. That being said, let's get started. In example 1 here, we're told, given the two shapes are similar, find the blue shape's area. So that's this blue quadrilateral here, which is similar to the grey quadrilateral we have right here. And looking at these two similar shapes, the first thing that's worth pointing out is that we have the values of two corresponding side lengths. Indeed, in this smaller shape, that side length is 2 centimeters, and its corresponding side length in the bigger shape is 6 centimeters long. Now hopefully it's quite clear that we don't have enough information about this blue shape to calculate the area without using the grey one. And so here's what we can do. First of all, we need to establish what the scale factor is to get from this 2 centimeter side length to this 6 centimeter side length. And when I say scale factor, that is the number by which we have to multiply 3 to get 6. And it doesn't take us long to realize that it's 3. And so I'll go ahead and write times 3. And somewhere at the bottom of the screen, like right here, I'll say that k equals to 3. Where k is the letter often used to refer to the scale factor for length. Okay, now that we know what the scale factor for length is, that was 3, all we have to do to get from this 24 square centimeters to the area of the blue shape is multiply by 3 squared, where the 3 that we have here is the scale factor for length, and we square it because we're dealing with an area. Now, 3 squared equals to 3 times 3, which is 9, and so to find the area of the blue shape, which I'll just call capital A, I calculate 24 times 9 and by all means check, but that equals to 216. And those are 216 square centimeters. Done. And in fact, I could write that inside the shape as well, 216 square centimeters. And that's all there is to it. Do be careful though. A mistake which is quite common is to find the scale factor for length, so that would be the 3 we have here, and multiply the area 24 by 3 as well, which would give you 72 but that would be a mistake. So remember, if the scale factor for length is k, and in fact I'll write that underneath here, that's the scale factor for length, then the scale factor for area would be k squared, which in this case was 3 squared, which equals to 9. And I'll write scale factor for area underneath that as well. Scale factor for area. Okay, now just as I said at the beginning of this video, in this example, the blue shape here was an enlargement of the gray shape. But now let's move on to example two, in which the blue shape is a reduction of the gray shape. Once again, we're told, given the two shapes are similar, find the blue shape's area. And looking at the two similar shapes we have here, we quickly see that we don't have enough information on this blue shape to calculate its area directly, but we do have the area of the gray shape. Last but not least, and this is very important, we notice that we have the values of two corresponding side lengths for our shapes. Okay, well thanks to these two corresponding side lengths, we should be able to figure out what we have to multiply 20 by to get to 5. But this time, because 5 is smaller than 20, it may seem a little less obvious. In fact, most of us are more comfortable in seeing that to get from 20 centimeters to 5 centimeters, we divide by 4. And the fact that we're dividing here and not multiplying like we were in the first example is quite important, and I'll explain why in just a minute. But first of all, let me quickly show you how to get from the area of this gray shape to the area of the blue shape. Since to get from this side length of 20 centimeters to its corresponding side length of 5 centimeters we divided by 4, to get from this gray shape's area to the blue shape's area, all we have to do is divide by 4 squared. In other words, we need to divide by 16. And you can go ahead and check, but calculating that area, it would be 120 divided by 16, 
which equals to 7.5 square centimeters. And that's the answer. And in fact, I'll write that inside the triangle as well. There we go, that's 7.5 square centimeters. Okay, now if all we had to do is find the blue shape's area, then dividing by four squared this way is perfectly fine and valid. Indeed, 7.5 square centimeters is definitely the correct answer. But an important thing to keep in mind here is that four is not the scale factor for length to get from the gray shape to the blue shape. Remember, the scale factor is the number by which we'd have to multiply 20 to get to five. And so if ever you were asked, what's the scale factor for length? And then what's the scale factor for area? Here's how you would do it for this second example. The scale factor for length k is equal to this five centimeter side length on the shape whose area we're trying to find, divided by its corresponding side length in this gray shape. In other words, the scale factor k is equal to five divided by 20. And five over 20 is equal to one over four, or simply 0 0.25. And so k, which equals to 0 0.25, is the scale factor for length to get from the gray shape to the blue shape. Consequently, the scale factor for area will be k squared. And in fact, I can write that as well. The scale factor for area would be k squared, which will equal to 0 0.25 squared, which equals to 0 0.0625. And that's the scale factor for area to get from the gray shape to the blue shape. And to convince yourself of this result, you can go ahead and multiply 120 by 0 0.0625, and you'll see that you'll get 7.5. And there we go, we now know how to find an unknown area using similar shapes, and we also know how to find the scale factor for area. And that's it for this tutorial.